All right, what up, Brown? I got your Nemesis X just about done. I really don't know what I'm going to do with this damn antenna because there's no other place to put the VTX. Um, I couldn't really flip it around because, like, <laughs> see, this is the exact problem that I was talking about in one of my other videos where I said the... Uh, MMCX they need to figure something out with this thing because it's so long that's an inch right there that's an inch so you can't I mean I could bend it right here but you don't want to be bending it too much or it's just gonna break you know so I'm gonna have to figure something out where you know I I'll probably have to do something like that. Maybe zip tie it to itself right there. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll probably do that. Alright, so other than that, uh, everything else is good to go. I got this hanging out because I probably need to... Well, actually, you can mess with that. I'll, I'll tuck that back in. You can set it to whatever you want. That's for the uh, camera settings. It'll be tucked in right there. Alright. <clears throat> Nemesis X. Two and a half inch. Put some uh, Uma grip on there for you. 550 fits pretty good. Hmm. Okay, that'll work. <clears throat> I'll leave the plastic on the Uma grip so it doesn't get dirty until you get it. Uh, so yeah, let me plug this in and uh, show you everything's working so you wanted Lewis script and uh, you know smart audio smart port uh, I need to figure something out I think I might zip tie this to the standoff as well the antenna just to keep it down like that on both sides or something I don't know maybe I'll tie it down to the motor wire or something anyway let me uh, turn my radio on. I already have it bound up to my radio because I had to do a bunch of crap to get the smart audio and smart port working. But I finally did it. So, got your LEDs working too and mounted back here in the bottom. Looks pretty good. Um, let's show you the video. I got your RSSI working. You can see there it's on. Well, you might not be able to see it because the screen is so small, but it says 99. Um, got the barometer setting on here for uh, your height and your OSD. Yep, it's working too. Okay, uh, let me arm it for you. We'll show you that it arms. There we go. We got uh, clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. So the motors are good to go. Looking good. Move it over here so we don't get that. Okay, um, so here's your Lua script, and it's working as you can see. All that works and your smart audio works so there we go what's this 200 yeah it's 25 and 200 because it's the unify race MMCX so set it to 200 save it all right and it is on F1 you can see that's F1 so let's just change it real quick just to make sure We'll put it on F7, hit save, and there it goes.
So we'll change it to F7. There we go. Cool. All right, so everything is working. Yeah. I'd be excited about this quad if I was you, man. It's going to be pretty sweet. I like it. You got the uh, Predator Micro. You got the Ori 32. So you got the BL Heli 32 ESCs. Um, you got your Unify Race MMCX. You got the Omnibus V6, which is just a badass flight controller. I guess I could talk about that for a minute. Um, for anybody else that is into the Omnibus flight controllers, this is the newest one. It's the V6, and it has tons of new features, just tons. It has five UARTs. It's got M3 holes, with, and it comes with these little plastic pieces that you stick down in the hole to make it an M2, which is pretty cool. Um, it has its own smart audio pad. It has its own camera control pad. Everything for the VTX is right here, and it's pretty much made for the Unify. Unify is 7 to 26 volts. This is 8 volt BEC with LC filter. You got video in, video out, smart audio, camera control, and the power and ground for the VTX all right there on the corner there. Just works out beautifully. Um, you got your own S bus pad here, which is UART1. Um, and then you got your RX6, TX6, RX3, TX3, your buzzer, 3.3. And then right here, you got these really long pads. They're really wide. So you can stick like three, two or three things on there, you know, and you don't have to worry about trying to fit three wires on one little tiny pad. It's actually a really long pad. So you can stick one wire, two wire, three wires all separate from each other, you know, and, and that's a five volt, one amp BC and the eight volt is a one amp BC as well. Uh, it still has the barometer as you saw in the OSD. Um, it's still wide like the V5 was. I love the V5, and this one is just even better. Uh, it says that they use uh, tantalum, tantalum capacitors for noiseless gyro. Um, it's direct LiPo input 3 to 6S. That is awesome. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. MPU 6000, it's F4. Just awesome. I mean, it's just that much better than the V5. And the V5, I thought, was like as good as it could get, you know? So, yeah, this is just really great. I would definitely recommend that flight controller. Uh, so, anyway, yeah, here it is. Nemesis X, pretty much done. I mean, oh, yeah, I conformal coded everything as well. Uh, yeah, it's all conformal coded. Even the LED on the back I did. And then I stuck this. I have this really good uh, foam tape that I use. It's made by the Gorilla, you know, that makes Gorilla Glue. This stuff is just amazing. It's like 10 pound. It holds up to 10 pounds, it says. And this is the really good stuff. I mean, it's just so good. And it all peels up in one piece, you know. It's it's not like that other, like this crap, or this crap, where after it starts getting old, it's like you go to peel it up and you gotta, it's like 100 pieces that you gotta peel up. It all breaks apart and shit. This, no matter how old it gets, it's all one piece just peels right up. But it's not that easy to peel up. I mean, you got to really pull on it, you know. So it's really good for mounting stuff. I mean, in here I got the VTX and the uh, receiver mounted on it. And, you know, they're not going nowhere. So it's pretty awesome. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I'll finish up, you know, the couple things that I'm going to do left on here. And this one will be good to go. Um, the receiver is on the top here. Let me take this battery off. And the bind button is right in the back there, so. Oops. You can see it right here. I, it's like partly covered up by heat shrink and part not. So I'm clicking it right now. So no problem binding. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This, uh, standoff across the front here, it kind of makes it to where the camera doesn't go down anymore than where it's at. And where it's at is probably like a, 
I don't know, maybe a 40 degrees or something, 35 or something, which might be a little bit much for you. So, you know, you can just take the standoff off and it'll come down. And the standoff isn't really necessary, but it does help. I mean, if you can fly like that, that would probably be the best route. But yeah, not a big deal if you got to take it off. So yeah, there's that. And then I have your, uh, shit, what's that other one called? <clears throat> the Serio. Man, this, this thing that you sent, it's heavy as fuck, but man, it is nice. I mean, it probably cost $10 just in shipping just to ship this, but it's a really nice case. It's uh, one of the, it's that cheap brand Husky, but it looks like a really, and it's waterproof too. It's got this rubber seal around it. You got to kind of uh, pull it up. That nice rubber seal around it. It's all waterproof. That is sweet. And then this rubber bottom. That is just nice, man. You got to tell me where you got this thing. Uh, yeah, your Serio, you said it needs a new motor and you want uh, smart audio telemetry working on it. And yeah, so I'll get that done. I'll do a separate video when I get this one finished. And then I'll be sending both of these to you probably Monday. So, all right, thanks, man. Let me know if you got any questions or want me to change anything or whatever, man. All right. Uh, update real quick. I totally forgot about this 3D printed piece that goes around the camera. That is a pretty sweet looking piece too. I mean, it totally protects the bottom of the camera there. Cause I, I was thinking that too. I was like, man, it's so open right there on the bottom of the camera, but that is sweet. Yeah. That's a nice little addition there. All right. Just wanted to make sure you knew I uh, put that on in case you were wondering. All right, man.